everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Camelia. I am a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, also known as a PMHMP. Um, I'm also a nursing and mental health enthusiast. And today, what I want to talk about is something that has come up uh, quite often, both on the channel here with comments, questions, and with some of the uh, interaction I've had with those that I have mentored and those that have just asked specific questions um, by email. And I really want to talk about the elephant in the room. And I say it's the elephant in the room because it's something that's not talked about often. It's something that's not addressed often. Um, and so I just wanted to use this time to clarify, but also provide possibly some resources that could be helpful uh, if you are a PMHMP student and or if you're considering the PMHMP route, not sure about the role in terms of uh, psychotherapy um, and or if you are wanting to get additional training around psychotherapy. So if you haven't figured out by now, what I'm going to refer to today is the role of the PMHMP in performing psychotherapy, okay? Psychotherapy is um, something that you can do as a PMHMP. So just to clear this up, um, the scope of practice for a PMHMP for any board of nursing, you are able to perform psychotherapy, okay? The question becomes, should you perform psychotherapy and do you have the training experience and clinical insight to be able to perform psychotherapy um, in a therapeutic manner? And therapeutic really just means the benefits that the patient will achieve from per you performing psychotherapy with, with patients. So the first question I get is, can you perform psychotherapy? as a PMHMP, yes, okay? Um, the second question and some of the concern is that much of the role of a PMHMP historically has been based in not just the evaluation assessment, um, but also medication management. Um, and so psychotherapy is something that is not always practiced. It's also something that has does not have a lot of emphasis. Um, so if we dial this back to the programs, um, PMHMP programs, most programs do require that you have some clinical experience with psychotherapy. That usually means following a, an LCSW or an LPC, um, someone who is versed in performing psychotherapy. Um, sometimes that also means following another PMHMP or a psychiatrist, okay? Um, but what I will say about most PMHNP programs is that the amount of hours compared to the clinical experience that you get with PMHNP and psychiatrist uh, rotations, um, the amount of hours for therapy is pretty nominal. Um, and so with that said, most of us don't come out of our PMHNP programs ready and confident in performing psychotherapy, okay? So why that's important, um, because it's within your scope, you can do it, but it really comes back to you as an individual and uh, being able to assess whether, one, you have the clinical knowledge, the experience, and whether you feel confident and competent in performing psychotherapy, okay? If we take this back to the patient, um, there are risks in performing psychotherapy without proper training, without proper technique. Um, many patients um, sometimes have an exacerbation of their symptoms um, when they're performing psych when they're undergoing psychotherapy. And so part a part of that is being prepared to be able to manage that as well. Um, so there's various techniques, there's different mod modalities of psychotherapy, uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectical behavioral therapy, um, interpersonal psychotherapy, solution-focused therapies. Um, so there's lots of different modalities. Trauma-focused therapy is also another. Um, but I say that because uh, those that perform psychotherapy regularly 
um, have gone through extensive training to be able to perform psychotherapy, to uh, execute certain modalities, and to also uh, be able to have clinical insight around how the patient responds to the psychotherapy. Okay, so the real risk in this is, is the patient. Um, and so we wanna be prepared to, to do that. We wanna be prepared to do the best for the patient. Um, just from my own clinical experience, um, I did not have a lot of training. I was required to do just a few hours of psychotherapy. That was a shadowing experience. Um, and so uh, I did and have been able to uh, continue do, doing more research and education around psychotherapy. Um, do I perform it now? Yes, I do. Um, but uh, I'm also very honest in that if there is any form of psychotherapy that I think the patient could benefit from that I am not versed in and that I don't feel competent in doing, for example, trauma-focused therapy, then I am going to refer them to uh, colleagues that are uh, really, uh, that's their expertise, okay? We should be doing that anyway, regardless of what we're doing. Um, but I like to say that because uh, just because you fit under the PMHMP umbrella does not mean that you uh, are able to do everything um, that is going to be safe and the best for the patient, okay? So I call this the elephant in the room because it's something that's not talked about a lot. It's something that has some controversy around it in terms of whether PMHMPs can and should be performing psychotherapy. Um, so what I'd like to do at this point, um, I'm actually going to put a resource in the description section uh, for this video. Um, one uh, resource that was recommended for us uh, as, as I went through my PMHMP program that uh, has a lot of positive feedback, but I also want to use this platform for anyone who has had a particularly useful experience in uh, obtaining additional education uh, for psychotherapy as a PMHMP. So feel free to uh, drop those resources below this video. Um, I really wanna use this channel as a way for us all to connect and engage with, with each other, but also to be able to offer you know, resources and to assist each other uh, to be the best that we can as PMHMPs and to develop this community. So um, please drop any additional resources that you have. I will put the link for the one um, that um, I will be doing additional education in as well. Um, I have done some training thus far, um, but uh, as you know, we never know too much. We never know enough um, and we can always grow. And so I'm, I'm really focused at this point in my career in doing that, particularly in the psychotherapy realm. Um, so you guys feel free to, to, like I said, drop any comments, uh, questions, additional questions that you have, um, particularly about this topic. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.